All right, y'all, here we go again. Once again, with another reaction to Ren Money Game Part 2. I've listened to number three first, and after watching it a few times, I, I got what it was talking about. And then um, I just did number one, and now I'm going to do number two. So I'm going to see what this is all about. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing built here. I want to build an empire here, so let's get this thing up and running. Um, but please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Drop in the comments below if you want to see me react to more of his songs. I, I like him. I like, I like his music. I mean, I like the beats too. That's how I, I usually listen to beats and music, and I love his beats. Um, yes, I am going to have to turn the closed captioning on on this one. I, for some reason, I couldn't really understand what's going on last time, so... I am going to put the caption on so I can read it while I'm doing it. So, anyways, let's get partying. Money is a game, and the ladder we climb. Hang on. When we last left Mr. Wren here, Mr. Wren was dousing himself with gasoline. Now we're at the beach. So what's going on now? We're at the beach, Mr. Wren. And before, we were in uh, a cell or uh, something with the guy playing a guitar with a hood on. So I haven't seen the guy with the hood yet. And uh, you had gasoline all over you, so what happens? Let's see. We'll turn a saint into a sinner with his finger in crime. I'll break it down for you motherfuckers line by line. This is business economics in the nursery rhyme. She sells seashells on the seashore, but the value of these shells will fall due to the laws of supply and demand. No one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand. Step one, you must create a sense of scarcity. These shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare, you see. Bear with me, take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island stock, pile them high until they're rarer than a diamond. Step two, you gotta make the people think that they want them. Really want them, really fucking want them. Hit them like Bronson with influencers, product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a shell, you're just a fucking waste. I remember in the car sales business, we would say the art of ripping somebody else to make them think you're doing them a favor. Uh, same thing here. Make something scarce, kind of like how they're doing with housing right now. You get all these investors coming in, buying all these big, all these, not big, but all these homes where people like normal people can't afford them. So then they have to rent from them. And so now you never own anything and you're, you know, you don't own nothing. And you're just basically uh, having to live off of somebody else. It's man free, it's monopoly, invest inside some property, start a corporation, make a logo, do it properly. Shells must sell, that will be your new philosophy. Swallow all your morals, they're a poor man's quality. Four, expand, 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 clear forests, make land, fresh blood on hand. Five, why just shells? Why limit yourself? She sells seashells, sell oil as well. Six guns, sell stocks, sell diamonds, sell rocks, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock. Seven, press on the gas, take your foot off the brakes. Then run to be the president of the United States. Eight, big smile, mate, big wave, that's great. The truth is overrated, tell lies out the gate. Nine, polarize the people. Controversy is the game. It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name. Ten. The world is yours. Step out on the stage to a round of applause. You're a liar, a cheat, a devil, a whore. And you sell seashells on the seashore. Oh, rain, 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 rain. I love his voice. I actually love the message in this. You can really see where he's coming from on it. Um, I mean, it's true, though. If you listen to what's going on, they, they shove something down your throat so much that you have to, you know, they, one of the things that Hitler said was if you take, tell a big enough lie and you tell it enough, people will believe it. Uh, and that's basically what our government is doing uh, to us. So, I mean, it's kind of the same thing they're doing. So, I get it where he's coming from. The storm, it comes our way. And those who rise through distorted lies are poison in the vase. But we like to point the blame, 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 blame. It's easier to blame. To point the mirror at ourselves. And we're all part of this old money game. This old money game. I get it. 
I get it. I see, I see exactly what he's talking about. Uh, how they let people divide us over what you know what we like, like he says what we sell. So yeah, I, I get what he's talking about. This was great. This is great. It's actually very. It's almost like a. I don't want to say a political statement, but it's almost, it's kind of like a political statement, you know, about what they're doing to us. Um, but anyways, but yeah, I, lo- I loved it. Loved it again. Uh, so anyways, but if y'all have any more comments about anything else from him, please let me know. I will be happy to uh, talk about it. Have a good one. Bye now.